Hey guys, so I'm back to do my everyday eye makeup look. I've just done my foundation, which I will put a link to, if you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link in this video, here, or here. And watch that one first, because it shows you how to do just everyday, easy foundation. Um, the next products that I'm going to use for my eyes are Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion. This is my favourite ever eye primer. I haven't ever tried any other, to be fair, but I have no need to. This one just does everything. I love it. So just put a wee bit on my eyelid and then just blend it in using your finger just right up to your eyebrow. Um, it's very easy to blend as well. I love it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same in the other eye. A wee bit more. Okay, and then blend it in. So for this um, eyeshadow look, I'm not going to be using a lot of colour. This is just the eye that I would do if I was in a hurry every day, but obviously don't want to go out with no eye makeup on because then I feel naked. If I don't have like eyeliner or mascara, I just feel really naked. <laughs> um, so yeah, the next thing I do is I take my blot powder, which I use for my face. It's just like a clear, not a clear, it's like a powder, but it doesn't add any colour. And I'm going to use my <clears throat> 224 brush, which is kind of like a fluffy, kind of like a blending brush. And I'm going to use this on my eye over the primer. <clears throat> the reason I'm going to use this is because sometimes with your primer it can kind of hold the eyeshadow so it's really hard to blend. If you put on a powder, any face powder that doesn't have a lot of pigment, um, it'll make your eyeshadows easier to blend but it won't take away the holding properties if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to put a little coat of this on. Plus, I'm going to be putting on a lot of eyeliner and I find sometimes my eyeliner will crease throughout the day, like it'll make a line in the middle which is not attractive. So this stops that, it really kind of keeps it um, from doing that. I got this tip from, I can't take credit for this, I got this tip from someone else on YouTube and I don't remember their username, it's um, I think it was something Brooklyn. DR, this girl, something Brooklyn, I'm not sure, DR Brooklyn or something, I can't remember, I haven't even seen a video of hers for ages, um, but yeah, I got that idea from her, it's not even my idea, um, okay, so next thing I'm going to do is my eyeliner, I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit to see if you can see any better, okay, now it's gone all blurry, um, I don't know, I think I'll zoom out again because it's gone really blurry. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put a thin line starting in here and then when you get to about here, kind of make it thicker. And then what I do is I kind of wing it out a wee bit to make your eye look longer. You'll see. <laughs> So I'm gonna, you'll probably not be able to see very well while I do this eye, so I will do this eye first. So just start off with a thin line. By the way, I'm using Max V-Line. And then when you get to about here, you get to about there, just kind of you can make it a bit thicker. If you can see I'm kind of doing it, I'm not doing it in one straight line, I'm kind of doing it in little strokes which is a lot easier, trust me. If you have a lot of problems doing your eyeliner and you're trying to do it in one big line, don't. Just try and do it in like little different strokes. So then, oops, then when I get to this end I'm going to start from this end and kind of meet it, meet it in the middle. Okay. 
Okay, just go on it over it again. And then when you get to right here, make your line a bit thicker. Okay. So you can see the difference. This side has no eyeliner, this side has eyeliner. So then I'm going to wing out the corner and I don't wing it in like a flick or um, anything like that. I'm just doing a straight line kind of like this and make sure it doesn't go down because if you have a line that kind of points down you're going to be dragging your eyes down and that's not good. So once I get to here I just out. Pulling your eye out helps by the way. That's what I do. Okay, so you can see the difference, you can see the line I've kind of created, and I'm going to do the same on this eye. Again, starting off really thin, almost not noticeable um, in the very corner of your eye. You don't want a lot of black in there because that will make your eyes appear smaller. And then start getting thicker. Okay. And then just do the wee flick again. Okay, so once I've got that done, I'm just going to go over this side again. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get a little cotton bud, like this, and I'm going to go over and kind of kind of take away, go from underneath and kind of take away some of the eyeliner to make it into a point. Because it's not really at the minute. Okay. All right. So then, what I do is I go over my eyeliner with um, just a plain black eyeshadow. I use Rimmel's. It's just a matte black eye eyeshadow, kind of like carbon. I couldn't get carbon though, so I don't know. Maybe it's been discontinued. It wasn't on their website. So I use this tiny little brush here. This is my 311. And it's kind of just like a lip liner brush, but I use it for going over eyeliner and it's perfect for that. So just go over everywhere you've done. This will just kind of tidy up any mistakes you made. It'll just make it look a lot, a lot more even, and it'll darken it up a bit. And then in the corner, when you're doing your flick, because this brush is so thin, you can get a nice, perfect point. You can see. Same in the other eye. Doing this, by the way, will also help your eye eyeliner to stay. It'll kind of help it kind of seal in. Okay. By the way, I know I'm blowing on my brushes and that's very unhygienic, but I'm the only one who uses them, so it's okay. And then do the same on this side with your flick. So once you're happy with that, which I'm not, okay, I just get a tiny little bit and go underneath my eye, just in the outer kind of corner bit. So from here to right here, blend that through. 
kind of just defines your eye, kind of just um, without lining the whole thing. So I don't really like lining my lower eye, like my lower eyelid, because I just think it, it never looks right on me. So just do that, kind of just define it, make sure I kind of pop open. Um, the next thing I do is I curl my eyelashes. I use these eyelash curlers from MAC. And just squeeze, count the number of times you squeeze as well so that you can do the exact same number on the other side so they're curled exactly the same amount. And then, where is my mascara? There it is. Woo! I'm just throwing things all over the place. Goodness gracious me. Okay, so that mascara that I'm going to use is my YSL one. I really, really like this mascara. It kind of makes your lashes look really big without clumping them. So, I'm going to use this. It's got this kind of a wand, kind of like a wee plastic wand. Um, and just get all your lashes coated. I always start in the inner corner and work my way out. I don't know why. I don't know if you can see that very well. See, this is why I need a better camera. So that I can do tutorials better. Because I'm sure you cannot see anything. But you get the general idea. Okay, so that's just one coat. I will add another coat when the first one dries. You can see how good that is. It really does make your eyelashes big and doesn't clump them. And then I'm going to do underneath. Same on this side. Gonna add another coat. Okay. So once you're happy with that, that's it. So the only other thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And I never used to do anything to my eyebrows and then I just, I just decided to try it once and now I, I cannot go out the house without doing them. So just brush them through first. Kind of try and get a shape to them. My eyebrows just tend to totally not go into shape. They just refuse to do any kind of shape. But um, it's about as good as it'll get. Then I'm going to use my Ilmasca eyebrow cake which looks like this. It's kind of like a brownie kind of a light browny taupey colour but it is perfect it looks really natural and I'm going to use this kind of slanty brush from Illamasca as well I'm just going to go over them really lightly so I always start here and just follow the shape of your eyebrow don't try and make any crazy shapes that your eyebrow doesn't already have you can add in a tiny bit of an arch if you don't have an arch but don't just be careful that you don't go too crazy or it will look really, really fake. Unless fake is the look you're going for, then that's fine. Can I just fill them in according to the shape? 
I have a lot of trouble with this eyebrow in particular. I don't know, the shape of this one's better. Okay, so just fill them in. Okay. Okay. And the very last thing that I do is I put on my um, MAC brow set and this will just keep your eyebrows from moving, especially if you have eyebrows like mine that do tend to do their own thing. I swear it's like they have a brain of their own. Okay, do this side. That's it. That's my makeup. I haven't done anything on my lips yet because I change that every day. At the minute I've been using um, a Rimmel lipstick called Pink Champagne in number 6 which is kind of like a really bright pink. So um, that's everything. That's my whole everyday makeup. This is what I'll go to every single day. Um, I might add in false lashes in a wee minute. Probably put in my MAC Hello Kitty ones because they have a nice kind of they go out at the ends which will kind of help with the um, the flick of my eyeliner kind of look very nice so that was my first tutorial um i'm sure it was crap because you probably couldn't see properly whatever you can let me know whether i should do another one sometime with colors or whether i should just stop until i get a better camera i won't be offended um so yeah see you guys soon bye